Nothing screams luxurious transport better than an MPV, and more so if that MPV is made by Lexus. Surprise? Well, we were too when we got the invite to drive this, the Lexus LM, or luxury mover, as the company likes to call it. Now, we have the car with us for a very brief amount of time, so let's not waste anything and get straight to it. It really was brief, not more than a few hours. So Pratik decided to explore the luxury of the LM being chauffeured around. It is a spruced up version of the Toyota Wellfire, but Lexus written all over it. Now this is the piece that is the stance of the Lexus LM. This MPV is the most opulent, the most extravagant place that you can be. Of course, this is the four-seater version. And as you can see, I've got so much room that I can just, you know, lounge. This, as Lexus calls it, is the private uh, seat of its yacht. So as you can see, it is extravagant. There's nothing that you could demand from because you get this, the 48-inch wide display screen you can also have it in a single screen as well as a dual screen so if you are traveling with a co-passenger and would also want to conduct your business meeting via a zoom call you can simply attach it cast it from your apple phone or your android phone and conduct your business meeting on one screen while your co-passenger can easily and comfortably enjoy their movie on the second screen but Obviously, if you're traveling alone and would just want to watch a movie, lounge around, that entire screen is at your disposal. The 3840 into 1080 resolution display offers a very clear and neat view of the screen. And the harsh light gets blocked out by the sun blinds. But it is the 21 speaker Mark Levinson system that elevates the overall experience. So, no disturbance between you and entertainment. But apart from that, there are a lot of functionalities, a lot of features that you get inside this car. Let's take a look. The Ottoman seats are plush and large, quite comfortable, and you will never complain about leg room. Heated or cooled seats, comfortable headrest with cushions, and if privacy is what you're after, there's a dimmable glass. Then there's something called Climate Concierge. Now, to control all the functions from the rear passenger seat of the LM, you get this nice-looking phone that controls most of the features. So you can control your audio, you can control your climate, you can also control the ambient lighting. There are a lot of options that you can use to, you know, lighten up the second row of this LM. Also, you can recline your seat. You can also turn on the massage function on this. Everything can be controlled from this smartphone. And the best part is that both the passengers get their own individual set of phones. Similarly, you've got different settings for different moods. Work watch a movie or simply relax, the Climate Concierge redirects the airflow in a particular way so that you are always comfortable. In a brief time, we were mighty impressed with the LM. Nothing seemed over the top, but in fact, everything was well thought out. Ample storage is available and there's a retractable compartment which offers wireless charging, complemented by several USB slots for wired charging. On the seven-seater version, things are slightly different. Of course, with the inclusion of the third row, there is no compromise on space. And the abundancy allows for three people in the third row, even if you've used the second row legroom sensibly. Your entourage can sit comfortably there, with ample knee, head, shoulder, and most importantly, hip room. This is business class seating. The only compromise is the giant screen. Instead, there's a 14-inch ceiling-mounted high-definition screen, which is good enough. The overhead console comes in both the seating layouts and controls most of the functions. 
such as opening and closing of the door as well as the shade. It takes a bit of time to get used to it, but once you do, there's no turning back. The luxury spoils you. Pratik enjoyed the LM's armchairs so much that he had to be reminded about getting out onto the track to drive it. But he held off doing that just one more time. Now I'm back to where you're supposed to be in the middle row of the four-seater version of the car. And as you can see, I'm sitting very comfortably. Of course, we are inside the test track, so everything is very controlled. And the roads are quite smooth, so I really can't feel any of the bumps or undulations. But I can do say that the suspension is a bit firm, but that is okay because at the end of the day, the LM is all about transporting you very comfortably and luxuriously and that the car is doing absolutely to the point. It was a controlled environment that we drove in. Smooth tarmac, no potholes. So it wasn't a thorough test of ride quality. But Pratik did encounter body roll. You expect it anyway given the size of the car. Same was the case with the seven-seater version. Experience in the second and third row were not extremely polarizing. The LM in India features a 2.5-litre petrol engine with a 190 brake horsepower and 242 Newton meters of torque. With a hybrid setup that combines a 180 brake horsepower front axle motor and a 54 brake horsepower rear axle motor for all-wheel drive. The combined system output is 247 brake horsepower, giving enough power to move this 2.2-ton MPV. There's no shortage of power when you consider the heft that the LM carries or even the weight of over 2 tons. The delivery is quite linear and I'm quite impressed by the fact that you don't really need to punch it, you know, because it is supposed to be a people mover and as the name suggests, uh, performance is not its main criteria. Now there is also the provision to drive this car in EV mode but that is obviously going to be for a very short distance because most of the acceleration is going to be uh, powered by the electric motors so you get one on the front axle as well as on the rear axle. A silent drive is what you can expect from the LM even in real world conditions. The airflow is directed in such a way that nothing seeps inside the cabin. The Lexus engineers have clearly done an excellent job. The use of aluminium and lighter components has helped ease maneuverability. While it is a mammoth of a car, it doesn't feel that way when behind the wheel. On the safety front, you get ADAS along with multiple airbags for all the rows. The digital rear view mirror is helpful but takes time to get used to. Lexus has ensured that the LM looks very different compared to the Wellfire. And though the design might look a bit outlandish to many, it's very Lexus. There's really no other explanation. The upcoming Lexus LM is set to launch with an anticipated price of 2 crore 50 lakh rupees for the fully imported MPV. That's 1 crore rupees more than the Wellfire. And you can buy two luxury 7-seater SUVs in that money or even a sports car with all the bells and whistles. But this one is not meant for people who are thinking of sports cars or luxury SUVs. Because the LM is in a league of its own. <laughs> 